Okay, so if this is an exam question, I would say just write down the computation for it. And, you know, if, if they're saying, you know, what's the error in it, um, it says compute the error in the linear approximation. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to write down that I would have to write down a couple different things. I'd have to write down actually what is delta F, all right? And again, if it's an exam question, I'm going to look at it, and I've written over here, it's going to be F of 1.5, 1.5 is 3 over 2, by the way, and then minus f of 2, all right? This is what f is over here. I want to do the computation for you, though, and this is going to be 7. And then you can get 2 plus, well, i got to square that number, which is going to be 9 quarters. I'll do that later, by the way. Minus, well, it's going to be 7, and then 2 plus uh, 2 squared is going to be 6. That's not so bad. I'm going to keep doing the arithmetic on it, and this is the exact value, by the way. We have the approximate. I got the exact over here. So let me keep going. And um, what do you get there? Uh, let's see. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4. I'll write that down for you. You get 28. And then you get 8 plus 9. All right. Let me make sure I did that. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 9 quarters is going to be 9. Minus 7 over 6. All right. Kind of a nasty looking number. But let's keep going. It's going to be 28 over 17 minus 7, 6. I got to pull those together. It doesn't look that bad to do. 7 times, um, I'm sorry, 16 times 7, I'm sorry, 6 times 17. Well, that's going to be 60 and um, 42. That's 102. All right, 102. All right, so I got the 102, and the question is, what do you do now? I got to do 6 times 28. All right, so 6 times 28. That's 120, and then 48, 168. Minus, I could do 17 times 7 now. What's that going to give you? 70 and 49, and that's going to give you 119. All right, let's keep doing the arithmetic. I know it's tedious. You may forget why you've done this. But I got 168 minus 119. Well, I got to borrow. This is going to be 5. That's going to be 18. This is 9. This would be 4, so I get 49, all right? So someone said, what did you just compute? Well, I computed this thing, 49, and that's out of 102. Now, we're not done yet. I'm going to get my race rack. Right. I'm going to get rid of my distracting arithmetic. And some people do arithmetic in their head, and that's fine. I don't mind you doing arithmetic in your head, but as long as you do it correctly. You could also use a calculator, all right? So it's compute the error in the linear approximation. So the error for the linear approximation What's it going to be? Well, it's going to be the difference between the two, but we don't care the direction in which it occurs. So it's going to be the absolute value. So I can put 49, this is the exact value, by the way, minus, that's 49 of 102, minus 7 eighteenths. All right, things are getting pretty nasty over here. And I want to point out, not that I want to do the arithmetic over here, but you, you could do the arithmetic. And let me just get my, um, uh, my arithmetic skills going here. So the, I want to get an LCD, by the way. And someone says, why don't you just do 102 times 18? You could. But I want to point out over here, I'm going to start to, like, do this. And it's going to be 2, you know, 51. That's 3, 17. I'm going to look at 18. Same thing. 2, 9, 3, 3. So the LCD is going to be what? Well, I definitely need a 2. I definitely need a 3 squared. And I definitely need a 17. All right, I'm going to go through that arithmetic for you. And, you know, you may wonder what that is. Maybe I should do that for you. What do you get over there? We get, you know, 2 times 9 is 18. 18 times 17. Let me do it on the side for you. 18 and a 17. Uh, let's see, 10 times 18, that's going to be 180, right? And then 7 times 10 is 70. And 7 times 8 is going to be 56, right? So what do you get there? Let's see, 6. Uh, let's see, 8, that's going to be 20, 306. All right, I'll write this over here. A little bar there. Um, I'm going to start doing the, um, the, the building now, and I'm going to go through some arithmetic over here. I don't need any more. Yep, I know it's difficult. And let me, uh, I got the LCD. Let me, I don't need to do, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't need to erase that. 
All right, let's do the 49 over 102. And 102 has got a 2 in it, it has a 3 in it, and it has a 17 in it. It's missing a 3. So we'll put this over here, 3 over 3, minus 7 18 Now, the 18 has got a 2 in it. Um, it has the two 3s in it. It's missing a 17. Well, I already did this. I know it's 306, but I got to do that numerator part. 3 times 49, 147. And 7 times 17, that's 70, and 49, so 119. What do you get there? Let's see, 2128. I'm going to reduce that. And what do you get over there? Uh, let's see, 14. And that's going to give you 153. Right over there. You don't have to do the decimal, by the way. All right, thank you.